It's new Friday, January 23rd here in Korea. Thanks for tuning in. Live from Seoul, I'm Oh Jin Ju. It's very good to have you with us. I'm Mark Broom. Now, with her approval ratings hitting an all-time low after a document leak scandal from her office and the government's revised tax policy, President Park Geun-hye has announced a new prime minister nominee and reorganized the presidential office. Now, for more details, let's connect to our presidential office correspondent Chae Yoo-san via phone. Yoo-san. Hi guys, uh, President Park today, she has nominated the ruling party's floor leader, Lee Wan Gu, as the new prime minister. Lee, who's a three-term lawmaker and former governor of central Chungcheong Namdo province, is thought to have gotten the president's nod for how he negotiated thorny issues with the opposition as floor leader in the past year. In fact, the presidential office said the nominee fully understands President Buck's policy direction and has the capabilities to work with the political parties in carrying out the government's economic and reform policies. Today's nomination was widely expected as speculation has continued about when the president will tap a replacement for Prime Minister Chung Hong Wan. Uh, of course, uh, President Buck earlier uh, last year, in fact, uh, she retained the prime minister despite his resignation to take responsibility for the government's botched handling of the Seoul Ferry disaster. The new nominee, meanwhile, will need to get parliamentary approval to take office as prime minister. And there's no nomination as of yet for the vacant seat of Ocean's minister. Guys? Yusan, the president has been very heavily criticized for disorder within her office that was publicized, especially following the news of that document leak uh, scandal, as well as allegations of her aides abusing uh, their power. So really, this uh, reorganization today didn't come as a huge surprise. Right, Mark. But her chief of staff, the one many watchers have speculated will be dismissed, is going to stay put for now. Instead, President Bach has replaced the Office of State Affairs Planning with one that will better coordinate her policies inside her office of Chongwade. For new senior policy coordination secretary, President Bach has appointed Hyun Jung Tech, the vice chair of her National Economic Advisory Council and former president of the Korea Development. Development Institute. Two of the president's longtime aides who were at the very center of the recent aid scandal have either had his office removed or stripped of his personnel appointment power. As promised during her New Year's press conference, President Buck announced a lineup of special advisors whose main task will be to actively communicate the president's policies with parliament. The four honorary advisors announced today include Lee Myung-jae, the former prosecutor general who has been named the presidential advisor on civil affairs. The other three will cover the areas of security, public relations, and society and culture. President Buck's civil affairs secretary, Woo Byung-woo, meanwhile, was promoted to senior secretary after his former boss, Kim Myung-han resigned, having refused to appear at a parliamentary hearing for the document scandal. The senior future strategy secretary has also been replaced. I'm Choi Yoo-san, reporting on President Buck's nomination for new prime minister and reorganization of her office.